Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the True Jesus Church uh, Friday night hymnal session. Um, let's begin by bowing our heads and praying in silence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So these past few weeks, my kids have been attending the SSC, which is the Student Spiritual Convocation. And uh, it's so nice to see them being diligent and learning and praying so much. And that's really a, truly a blessing. And so I'm very happy to see that um, Jesus really loves um, the kids. So let's sing him 469, Jesus Loves the Little Children. So this next hymn that we'll sing is uh, my own personal favorite, and uh, it's good that uh, this hymn reminds us to uh, keep God as our guide um, in our lives, in our daily lives, and uh, it's better to have God, you know, deciding for us what to do than to let our own fleshly desires, um, you know, decide for us what we should do. So um, keep God our, our vision in, in our minds always uh, as we go through our our days. Um, so please let's sing for, um, hymn 452, Be Thou My Vision.
So I saw in the news recently that there's uh, been an increase in the number of coronavirus cases. Um, so it kind of makes me worried about the future. But um, we need to remember that um, God is always with us and uh, this whole universe belongs to God. And this is uh, our Father's world. So, um, and we don't need to worry too much because God is with us as long as we keep our faith strong in him and he will find a way for us to get through this. So let's keep our faith strong. Um, so let's sing, sing him uh, number five, This Is My Father's World. recently is that if I um, if I praise Jesus during the during my day and like continually throughout my day um, things seem to go better so um, that's just a, a good reminder for us that we need to praise the Savior all the day long like it says in him 236 so let's sing him 236 blessed assurance Jesus is mine remember to praise um, God throughout our day Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this concludes the uh, hymnal session. Um, thank you for singing along. May God bless all of you. Uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, please bow ahead and pray in silence. Amen. Hallelujah, name is Christ. We commence a Friday night Sabbath worship. Let's all rise and sing him 131A. 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 Praise and thank God. Please be seated. Uh, please feel like the praise and thank God for the last two weeks. We have studied uh, the topic, He has put eternity in their hearts. But tonight we continue to study our basic doctrines. We're going to study one true church according to the Bible. Let's all kneel down and pray and ask Him, Father, guide us. Please, please kneel down and pray together. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray.
Amen. Hallelujah, peace and joy to all of you. Uh, once again, we praise and thank God that you and I can gather here online to worship the true and living God together. So tonight we'll continue to study our basic doctrines. And tonight we'll share the topic one true church. Quite often the topic one true church is like a very hot potato. Because when we say one true church, and a lot of people get offended. Why? Because there's 40, over 40,000 Christian denominations out there. And there's over 2.2 billion Christians out there. And how can we say there's only one true church? You know, when we talk about one true church, let's put the names of the church aside. Let's put the name True Jesus Church aside. Let's put the you know the Orthodox churches aside. Let's put the Catholic Church aside. Why? Because we just want to go into the Bible and look for that one true church. We mean we are in the so the first question is, can every church be the true church of God? Yes, why not? But before a church can become the true church of God, there's a certain requirements that God has in the scriptures. For example, if I ask you, can everyone be a billionaire? Yes, why not? I mean, every one of us can be a billionaire. But there's a certain requirement for a person to become a billionaire. You know, if you are Jeff Bezos, you know, he owned Amazon, so he's a billionaire. He's worth about $113 billion. You can be like Bill Gates, you know, he's, he's worth about $100 billion, and he owned the empire of Microsoft. Bill Gates, and you can be like Warren Buffett, right? He owned over 60 different companies. Warren Buffett, For example, he owned the insurance company Geico. And he owned a company, you know, batteries, Doracell. And he owned all the Dairy Queens, right? Ice cream, Dairy Queens. So he worth about $70 billion. So in other words, anyone can be anything they want. But there's a certain requirement that you need to do to you know be whatever you want. You know, there's over two thousand people are billionaires in, in this world. Is there any trillionaires in the world? 
No, there's no trillionaires. But those two thousand billionaires, can they become trillionaires? Yes, why not? Why not? So anyone can be anything they want to be. But then the Bible tells us that you know Solomon he's worth about 2.1 trillion. So when people ask, can every church be the true church of God? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. But they have to go to the Bible and follow the instruction from our Lord Jesus Christ. If they cannot fulfill according to the instruction of Lord Jesus Christ, and then they cannot be the true church of God. Let's go to book of John chapter 10 verse 16. John chapter 10 verse 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. So here Lucius Christ said he has other sheep. I have words are not of this fold. But remember how many fold are there? 但这里有说, 有这里提到几个羊见呢? There's only one fold. 只有一个羊见. There's only one fold. 只有一个. But then whoever, right? Whoever hear the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ, then he will bring that sheep to this one fold. 但这里说，只要他们愿意听我的声音的人，我就必须领他们过来. Why? Because there's only one fold, one flock, and one shepherd. 因为这里很清楚的说，这里就一群一个羊圈，一个牧人. So the question is, 问题是, are you and I belong to this one fold? 你我是不是属于这个羊圈? Are you and I belong to this one flock? 你我是不是属于这个这群羊? Do we have our Lord Jesus Christ as a shepherd? And those are the questions that you and I need to ask ourselves. How can we become that one flock? We must listen to the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you and I want to be that one true church according to the Bible, we must follow the scriptures. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 4 to verse 6. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4 to verse 6. If anyone wants to become the true church of God, they must have this eight oneness. Of course, this beside following the Ten Commandments. And also you know the basic doctrine that you and I have learned together from the scriptures. But look at this eight oneness. Because this is so important. Verse 4 says there is one body. And there is one spirit. Just as you were called in one hope of your calling. Then verse 5. There is one Lord. One faith. One baptism. Then verse 6. One God. And Father of all, who is above all, 
and through all and in you all. This is so important. Why? Because when we're talking about the true church of God according to the Bible, we see that there's only one body. And there's only one spirit. Then there is one hope. There's only one Lord. And we must have one faith. And there's only one baptism. And one God, and He is one Father of all of us. Really think about this. You know, quite often we say to ourselves that, you know, every Christian is one flock. But different Christians are different parts of our body, right? Different body. But that statement is incorrect. Why? Because when we are one body, we must have the same spirit. We must have the same hope. We must have the same Lord and same faith, the same baptism. We must have the same God and the same Father. Then we become one. There's no way we can say that all the Christian are you know one body but different parts. You know, quite often my wife say to me that I have a very big head. My head is quite big. And that's why I told I'm very smart. That's why my head is big, have a big brain. That's why I'm smart. You know, my unborn son, he's about seven, seven months old now, right? Because I mean, my wife is seven months pregnant. And the doctor says you should be able to hear his heartbeat very clearly. So quite often I put my head on my wife's stomach and she says your head is too heavy and too big. You know? And she says she can, you know, you're going to squish the baby. Even though I have a big head, I also have big shoulders. Right? Because if I have a very big head and small shoulder, I do not look normal. Right? Why? Because our body most of the time is symmetrical. I mean, look at my hands, right? They're the same length. My hands are the same length. My arms are the same length. So in other words, if we want to have one body, we cannot have different beliefs. So that's why when we believe in a certain teaching in the scriptures, then we can become one. We can see, right, over you know, 40,000 Christian denomination, we believe in different things. So we cannot say we all belong to the same body. Unless you and I believe in this eight oneness and also all the other teaching according to the scriptures, right? One baptism, right? And, you know, foot washing, all the kind of stuff, then we become one. But look at verse 4, they say there is one body. Why? Because let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 22 and verse 23. 
So what does this one body exactly mean? Let's read verse 22 and verse 23. Ephesians 1, verse 22 and verse 23. Verse 22. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be a head over all things to the church. Verse 23. Which is his body, the fullness of him who fill all in all. We can see in these two verses, it's talking about that, you know, God gave a Lugis Christ to put everything under his feet. And gave him to be head, right? Head is only one head. And over all things to the church, and the church, which is his body. So, in other words, when we talk about actually the body is equal to church. Yeah. Uh, you cannot have two bodies and then there's one head. Because all the normal circumstances, you need you know, one body, one head. When you have a body, you have a head. So that's why when we talk about this one body, we must look in the scriptures and find you know, this one church, this one body, they belong to Jesus Christ. So right now, do not think about any church in this world. Just think the church that's in the Bible. There's only one body. And this body is the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because there's no way he can have many bodies. It's impossible because he's the head of the body and he has only one body. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 21 verse 9. Revelation chapter 1, verse 9. Chapter 21, verse 9. Chapter 21, verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. 这里拿着七个金盘，盛满了幕后气灾的七位天使中，有一位来对我说：“你到这里来，我要将心腹，就是羔羊的欠子给你看。”So here we know that Aludis Christ he has only one bride.这里我们清楚看得出来，主耶稣基督只有一个心腹。And we know this bride also represents the true church of God.我们也知道这个心腹就是指着这我们这教会所说。but he does not have many brides. They have only one. And we all know that in the end days, this bride, this church, will be married right, to the Lamb, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 19. Verse 7 and verse 8. Because we want to go through the Bible and share with one another, there's only one church. That's according to the scriptures. Yes, every church can become the true church of God. But they must have the requirement according to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 7. Verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. Verse 8. And to her it was granted to 
be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is a righteous act of the saints. So we see in these two verses, our Lord Jesus Christ has only one bride because he has only one wife. You know, next week when we talk about uh, Lord Jesus Christ's wife, we'll, we'll go into more detail. Because in verse 7 says, and his wife, not wives, right? His wife is only one. And only that bride, only that wife, he will grant to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright. He does not give this to everybody. So that's why you and I must think and reflect. No, when our Lord Jesus Christ come back again, He will judge the whole world. And He will come to marry His bride, which is the true church of God. So you and I must find this true church according to the scriptures. And we all know this, he has only one body. We all know he has only one bride. And why? Right? And why do we say that there's all the churches can be safe? Because if all the churches believe exactly the same thing and according to the teaching of the Bible, yes, all the churches will be safe. Why? Because it will only be one, right? one faith, one hope, one baptism. Because if we are one, we have the same faith, we have the same baptism, we have the same Father, we have the same hope. All these things must be exactly the same. And the bride of Christ, she must be very beautiful. Why? Because she was created according to the image and likeness of God. And these are the things that you and I must think and reflect. You know, if we put all the different church together as one body, we all believe in different things. Then there's no way that bride can become no way that bride is beautiful. You know, just like for Frankenstein, right? They, I don't know, the doctor wanted to uh, make uh, Frankenstein a wife, right? The bride of Frankenstein. And she's all have different things and she's very ugly looking, right? And that's why in book of John chapter 10, verse 16, we just read that. We say, if the people, if his sheep hear his voice, he will bring to one flock. That is it. Why? One flock and this one shepherd. So now we just talk about there's only one body, there's only one wife, there's one only one bride. Let's go to First Timothy chapter three. First Timothy chapter three, verse fifteen. Timothy chapter three, verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. But if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. Isn't 
it says here that the house of God, which is the church of the living God. So how many houses here? It says house of God. That's it. One house of God. So because they say only one house of God, just like one body, one bride, one house of God, you and I cannot go out, you know, and teach other people saying that there's, you know, there's many bride of Christ, there's many body of Christ, and there's many houses of God. No, the Bible did not say such things. If you and I want to belong to one body, if you want to be that one bride, if you want to belong to that one house of God, you and I must follow the teaching of the Bible. Well, just like we have shared, right, is baptism. There's Holy Spirit. There's Holy Sabbath. There's Holy Communion. There's foot washing. All of these things. Right, that you and I must believe to belong to this one body, to belong to this, to be the bride, and to be in this one house. If we look at the end of verse 15 in 1 Timothy chapter 3, say, the pillar and ground of the truth. So if you and I, belong to this one true church, and this one true church must be the pillar you know, and ground of the truth. So one, once again, it stressed that you and I must follow the scriptures. There's only one house of God. Let's go to Acts chapter 20. Because I want to share all these verses you know, with all of you so you can think and reflect for yourself, right? For yourself. Go to the scriptures and study God's word and think and reflect. Chapter 20, verse 28, the book of Acts. Chapter 20, verse 28. Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. So here, Paul encouraged you know, the, the overseers. He said, first, take heed to yourselves. To all the flock, you see one flock, right? To all the flock. Which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. To shepherd the church of God. It's only one church. And how uh, no, what kind of people who belong to this one church? Say here he purchased. With his own blood. And that's why, you know, from the beginning, we're talking about, you know, being born again through water, through baptism. So that's why, you know, for you and I, when we think about, you know, finding 
the right church, the true church of God, we must go back to the scriptures. 因此，当我们在说我们要找这个、这个、这个属神的真教会的话，我们只有可以回到圣经才找得到。Because any church does does not perform baptism or believe baptism have remission of sin, they are not this one true church that our Lord Jesus Christ is talking about. 因为任何一个教会如果不相信这个能赎罪的呃用宝血来为我们死呃呃洗去我们的罪的洗礼的话，他们就不属于这个呃这个真教会。Because anyone who want belong to this church, they have they must be purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any purchase us right through baptism, during yeah. baptism. Jesus Christ, how did he purchase us? Through baptism, through baptism. Jesus Christ, how did he purchase us? Through baptism, through baptism. Jesus Christ, how did he purchase us? Through baptism, through baptism. Jesus Christ, how did he purchase us? Through baptism, through baptism. Jesus Christ, how did he purchase us? Through baptism, through baptism. Share with us. There's actually there's only one true church. We can from the Bible find many references to only one true church. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true church of God. Yes, every church can be the true A little bit to the Old Testament. So, now we're going to find, uh, 查考旧约圣经 No, during the time of Noah. 在挪亚时期 When God was going to destroy the whole world. 当神要啊、uh, 要这毁坏这个这个世界 How many ark did God commanded Noah to build? 那神啊、uh, 就是叫挪亚造了几周几个方舟 I think you and I know that there was only one ark. 我知道，我们都都相信，都知道，只只只造了一一个方舟。Let's turn to Book of Hebrews, Chapter Eleven. 我们来翻到希伯来书的第十一章 ，Verse Seven， 第七节。Hebrews Chapter Eleven, Verse Seven. 希伯来书第十一章第七节。By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark. For the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is according to faith. Noah, having faith, he moved the ark of the Lord and built an ark for the saving of his household, and he built an ark for the saving of his household, and he built an ark for the saving of his household, and he built an ark for the saving of his household, and he built an ark for Was no ask to prepare an ark. Here, the seventh chapter tells us that Noah, in faith, is the one who built the ark. And why did he prepare this ark? 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 Why did he Why? Because when you know when we find this one true church, we find this one true church. 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 We find this 那那些找不到这些这个独一真教会，这只这唯一的一只方舟的人，他们是不能得救。I think all of us, you know, will hundred percent agree there was only one ark. Everybody would agree with that. 我们这里大家都相信只有一只方舟。And also, everybody also agreed, right? There's only one true church according to the Bible. 我们也相信依照圣经，只有一间啊、uh, 一个真教会。So that's why, you know, for us as Christian, you and I must go out and find that one true church that, you know, follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, we must go out and find that one true church that follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, we must go out and find that one true church that follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, we must go out and find that one true church that follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, we must go out and find that one true church that follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, we must go out and find that one true church that follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. But will God indeed dwell with men on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. How much less this temple which I have built? Verse twenty. 
That your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place where you said you would put your name, that you may hear the prayer which your servant makes toward this place. So when Solomon built a temple, he built only one temple. Of course, that temple represents the one true church you know, in the New Testament. Why? Because this temple is where God dwells. And this temple where God's servants make supplication and prayer to Him. So think about this. If you and I are truly the disciple of Lord Jesus Christ, we want to find this one true church that teaches everything according to the Bible. But most importantly, we know that body without the spirit is dead. So that's why when we find this one body, they must have the spirit of God inside of it. Because only the spirit of God can guide whoever truly believes in him into truth. Now let's go back to John chapter 10, verse 16. John chapter 10, verse 16. Verse 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. 我另外有羊，不在这羊圈里的，我必须领他们来，他们也要听我的声音，并且要合成一群，归一个牧人的。So for those of us who have not found this one true church yet，那对这些我们还就还没有找到这个独一的真教会的人，the first thing we must do, we must hear the voice of Jesus Christ。首先，我们第一件必须行的是。so now, in other words, you and I must you know, follow the scripture's teaching. When you and I hear his voice, then he will bring us to this one flock. And then he will be the only one shepherd. Now, so that's why if you think about all the Christian denominations, if the founder is a human being, the church cannot be the true church of God. Because our Lord Jesus Christ said that he will be the one, he will be the only shepherd in, 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 uh, in this uh, in this temple, right? In this flock. So in other words, you and I must find a church that the founder and the establisher is God Himself. We should not look for a church that is established by men. Yes, even though there are many shepherds in the world, 是的, but in reality, there is only one true shepherd. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though there are many sheep in the world, but the sheep belong only to one flock. So if you and I have not found this one flock yet, then you and I must go out and search for this one flock. But in searching, make sure we follow every word from the scripture. 
我们要确定这个养卷，他们是依照神的声音，依照神的教训。We should not use right human ways to find this one shepherd. 我们不可以让让用人的理智来去寻找这个这个真神的这群羊。So praise and thank God for our study tonight. 那感谢赞美神，我们今天的查考到的这学习。Next week we'll continue the study. Uh, one true church. 那下个星期我们会继续查考独一真教会的教训。as I'll rise and sing him 126. 126. 126. Amen, praise and thank God. Amen, now, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we must have faith. And the Bible says faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So in other words, you and I must read the Bible. To Understand God's will and God's way. But for us to truly understand the Bible, we must receive the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. So I think all of us who love our Lord Jesus Christ. 
我相信我们每一位就是深爱主耶稣基督的同龄的人们。We want to know the truth. 我们要知道真理。Then let's pray for the Holy Spirit. 那我们就必须祈求圣灵。So God can guide us into our truth. 这样子真神才会领导我们到真理。Now let's kneel down and pray together. 现在我们一同心跪下来祷告。In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray.
Amen. Amen. Praise and thank God. We conclude our Friday night Sabbath worship. Now, I just received a message that our brother Ken Len in Houston Church, he just had another stroke. And he's on his way to the hospital now. Please pray for him. Tomorrow we consume uh, uh we resume our service at 10 20 a.m. with prayer session. And then 10.45, we have our hymnal worship. And from 11 to 12, and from 2 to 3, will be our uh, services. And the Lord bless all of you and grant you peace and joy. Have a blessed night.